Pastor Siobhan, we are at a place uh, that has been significant in the past uh, as your political headquarters. Tell us where we are real quickly and uh, then uh, bring us up to date on these historic days that have just passed. Uh, we are here at uh, Del Master Retreat. Uh, that used to be our office for um, about the last three years for the, uh, our political party called Union and during the earthquake it fell down, it fell down and uh, three days, I mean uh, for more than three years we've, de we've been after the president Preval uh, to call upon a day of prayer and fasting for the country. Uh, he didn't seem so uh, to be uh, willing to do it because he said that Haiti is a lay country if I do it for one branch of religion, uh, other people will ask for their days, so he was elected to do it. And after the earthquake, we contacted him again, and he said that uh, now is the time. And uh, he dedicated uh, three days for fasting and prayer, and, uh, and he asked that uh, all of the branches of religion in Haiti could participate in it. So we took the initiative with a group of religious people from different backgrounds. We had uh, Voodooisms, Baha'i, Muslim, Protestant, and uh, all kinds. So we came together and we uh, established some point of agreement. First of all, we said that if we we're going to pray and to fast, uh, we need to uh, agree that it's in one name, only in one name, and we all agree it's in the name of God, uh, the creator of the universe, uh, revealed in three persons, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That was our first agreement. It took us a whole day to come to that point. And second agreement, we're going to, we're going, we're going to address our prayers to the name of Jesus Christ only. Because uh, we believe that uh, this is the way to pray to God. And uh, also we agreed on the program. Uh, it will be only uh, from the Bible, reading of the Bible, prayer, and also praising God, hymns of worship. So even though uh, various other religious groups came together to acknowledge that this was going to be a day of prayer, that uh, ultimately you all orchestrated that it was all going to be in the name of Jesus. That's right. That's our, our, that one of our argument. And also that uh, only the Bible will be uh, the book that we use uh, during these three days. And we selected 49 passages each day uh, during these three days. It t 49 times three. And uh, we assigned those readings to several people. And also, we sing only song uh, from, I mean, uh, our record of uh, hymns to worship Jesus and to glorify Jesus. And uh, also, a uh, point of agreement was that uh, we let the people of God lead, take the lead of the ceremony and all come to an agreement and uh, the people of God responds in Haiti. We had a uh, million people uh, gathered, not only in the area of Champ de Mars, the big plaza in Port-au-Prince, uh, which was packed, but all over Haiti. We had people like in St. Mark, we had over 50,000 people gathered in one place. In Lake Kais, we had a lot of people, Jacques Mel and Lake Le Cap and even in Miami and in uh, France and in Canada, we had Haitian people gathered together uh, to address those prayers to God. And we, we saw the manifestation of God during these three days of prayers and fasting. And uh, we thank God for this uh, event. And uh, we really believe that it's going to have an impact uh, on our country. And uh, we came out with several resolutions. One of the resolutions we dedicated the country to God, uh, the creator of the universe, and then we adopt the Bible as the spiritual constitution of Haiti now. 
and uh, we're going to submit it to the president and the parliament and I think they are in agreement uh, and we also agreed that uh, each February 14, which was the last day of the prayer and fasting, it will be dedicated uh, to the spiritual rebirth of the country and it will be a day of uh, fasting and prayer and a holy day uh, for our nation. During these three days of revival of prayer and fasting, we registered more than 2,000 converts, conversions, including 100, oh, 101 uh, voodoo priests that came to accept the Lord as their personal savior. And it was a time also to help people who had some uh, demonized crisis. And uh, we had a clinic especially for that. Uh, people coming and uh, sharing their fear and everything and casting their burdens and people will pray with them and they uh, come back as a result very uh, happy, radius and uh, we think that God was moving. And uh, now people are asking for Bible like crazy because we said that the Bible will be an official uh, book of the nation and uh, they said, what about us? We don't have the Bible. We don't have means to, to buy Bibles. How are you going to do that? I said, I don't know, but uh, the Lord will provide. So maybe that will be a, a, another opportunity uh, because we, we asked in our resolution that the Bible should be part of the teaching uh, in school and it will be part of the curriculum in the teaching. And I've already got some uh, I mean, uh, agreement, uh, not official yet, but there seems to be uh, in agreement that the Bible should be uh, taught in our schools, regardless, private or government schools, so Bible would be at the center of the rebuilding of this nation.